Hi everybody, Liz McGathy here for the Salina Record with a quick rundown of what you can expect in this week's paper. First, the Salina Garden Club had its biennial garden tour last weekend and we talked with special event coordinator Pam Collins to see how that went. Then on Tuesday, the City Council enacted neighborhood empowerment zone reimbursements for the very first time. So you can find out what that means for the downtown area. And in interim city, uh, city manager Rick Chafin resigned on Wednesday, so the city is now looking to hire a permanent city manager by September. Also in Salina ISD, uh, the school district was not affected by state funding cuts, but Superintendent Rick DeMaster still has something to say about it. Check out these stories and more in Friday's paper, and check us out on Star, I'm sorry, salinarecord.com, and visit, visit us on Instagram at Star Local Media. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, Brian Murphy here, sports editor with the Salina Record. A lot happening uh, this month. I have my all district story finally uh, for softball and baseball. All the players uh, from the Salina teams that made that list uh, as well. I caught up with Coach Bartlett and Coach Davis, see how, how review, it was a little season in review uh, type deal. And of course, our uh, second week of our 14 5A questions are heating up. Prosper mentioned quite a bit as they had some stellar teams uh, all season long. So make sure to check out Friday's paper of the Salina Record. And uh, also stay tuned on uh, StarLocalMediaSports.com for all this, our web stories that I'll uh, post online. Make sure to stay tuned to my Twitter as well, at Brian Murphy underscore for any updates and, and live tweeting and, and anything that may be happening right there. Thanks.